The pandemic gave people a chance to learn something new. That new for Ryan was learning how to make beats for music. To some, the sound of this melody is simple. To Ryan, it's the start of a new beat he is getting ready to produce. For nine to ten months, I've been making beats on FL. I knew nothing about music. And then I decided to just start learning. And I've been uploading like every day since. He's been uploading on YouTube for the past couple of months. The channel has grown substantially with over 130 subscribers. That's really loud, hold on. He's been learning how to use a digital audio workstation. I use FL Studio and you basically draw in MIDI notes and then that goes to plugins where you get sounds and those sounds you can manipulate with effects. Finding inspiration wasn't hard for Ryan. Metro, Boomin, Filthy Beats, and Art Dealer. They were like producers that really made me want to get into it. Music isn't the only thing on his plate. Balancing his responsibilities can be challenging. I go to COC for engineering. I'm like on my second year. I work at Albertsons, which I'll probably leave soon. Once I leave that, then I'll focus more on music. Ryan wants to make a career for him in beat making. He already knows what he has to do to achieve that. Keep uploading on YouTube. And maybe I can promote on like Instagram or even TikTok because things blow up there. But I haven't really done too much other than just upload on YouTube, but maybe I can expand and get stuff out there more. If you'd like to keep up with Ryan's journey, you can visit his YouTube channel. He has a lot of work already uploaded and posts new beats weekly. For Canyons News, I'm Daniel Rios.